Hi, Rock School Drummers. Hope you're well. Quick talk through for you here of the technical exercises from Rock School Drums Grade 2. Uh, I get that people think this is largely the most boring bit of the exam, but actually this is the bit where you're building, in my opinion, the physical skills that are then going to allow you to sound great when you play music. When you see a drummer flying around the kit, sounding good, sounding pro, basically, it's because they worked on this stuff, not just sort of hacking away at tunes. Well, that, that's playing songs is really important as well. This is the physical skill building that is giving you building the physical skills that then allow you to play music that sounds great. So super important. I'll wrap through the whole lot here. Group A, single strokes and double strokes. Singles, one stick, then the other. Doubles, two hits with each stick. You go eighth notes, then 16th notes each time. And uh, I'll rattle around this a few times at 70 beats per minute. Here it comes. Two, three, and four. All right, group B, paradiddles is 16th notes all the way. Paradiddles are onomatopoeia. So somebody decided one day that para is the noise of one stick than the other. Diddle is the noise of two hits with the same stick. Paradiddle, paradiddle. Uh, these have nice accents on the beat. I've actually got a video about developing this using the molar technique. I'll link to that below, man. Check that out if you want to really get some nice uh, technique happening on this. Here it comes, group B, paradiddles at 70 beats per minute. Two and three and four. All right, uh, group C, flams. These are great. These are just a great way of fattening up one single hit on the drum. So you play a grace note, then a loud note. Set yourself up like uh, quarter to uh, 12 or nine o'clock, right? So one stick right near the drum head, one stick up in the air, and you alternate these uh, playing on the beat as quarter notes. Here it comes, group C, flams. Two, three, four. Okay, group D, triplets. These are eighth note triplets. The point of a triplet is, or well, the idea is three notes in the space of where you normally find two. So these regular eighth notes would be one and two and three and four and like two on each beat. Eighth note triplets, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, three on each beat. You play the first bar as a single stroke roll and the second bar is what we call a bounce triplet. A really useful way of sticking it. Right, left, left, right, left, left for the right-hander. Obviously, if you're left-handed, you reverse these and, uh, or you can if you want to, and you play an accent on the beat. Here it comes, group D, triplets. Two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. All right, cool. And then group E is the fill. Here you play three bars of drum groove and then you play one of four different drum fills. Uh, the groove here is a nice straightforward rock pattern. It goes like this. And then you're going to play one of four different fills. So these are made of quarter notes, eighths and sixteenths. 
or tea, coffee, and cappuccino, often known as, and uh, you've got some flams in there as well. Bill A goes like this. So single strokes all the way, eighth notes, 16th notes, eighth notes, 16th notes, coffee, cappuccino, coffee, cappuccino. Bill B goes like this. So same sort of idea. This time you've got 16th notes, then eighth notes, 16th notes, then eighth notes. Cappuccino, coffee, cappuccino, coffee. Groups, uh, Phil C goes like this. Sorry, did I play it wrong the first time? I'll do it again. Phil C goes like this. And again, Phil C. So flams there, nice and clean uh, on quarter notes, beat one, beat two, T, T, and then 16th notes, cappuccino, cappuccino after that. Phil D goes like this. So 16th notes, 8th notes, 8th notes, and then a quarter note flam on the floor, Tom. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play each one in context. Uh, a, B, C, then D with the groove beforehand. Same speed, right? 70 beats per minute. Here it comes. Feel A, 3, and 4, and... Okay, straight in with Phil B this time. Phil B. Okay, straight in with Phil C. Here we go. And Phil D, here we go, and... All right, I hope that's all cool. So that is it for the technical exercises for Rock School Grade 2. Uh, to repeat, these are the things that the least drummers do and spend time on. They're also the things that have sort of have the highest leverage. So if you spend time on this, not that music's a competition, you're basically going to get ahead of just about everybody else. If you really want to be a good drummer, um, do this stuff man, and engage with these. They're super brilliant, super useful. Again, building your physical skills that are going to allow you to uh, sound good on the kit. So that's that. Any questions about that or anything else, give us a shout. Thanks for watching as always. Uh, please like, share and subscribe. This channel has videos for Rock School, for Trinity Rock and Pop and for Trinity College London, as well as loads of other stuff. It has drum covers, note for note, as, as per the original and like my own drum covers. It has tutorials, it has one minute drum lessons, it has tons of stuff and at this point, um, this is March 2020, it has over uh, 600 videos I've recorded. So if you're learning drums, uh, check it out and please click the little bell icon if you'd like to get a notification every time I upload a video, which is kind of every day at the minute. And uh, thanks to all the lovely people who support this channel by buying me a coffee, so to speak, on Buy Me A Coffee. Oh, today a lovely person called Lucy bought me three coffees on Buy Me A Coffee. Appreciate that, Noen. That's a brilliant way of supporting this channel if you're finding it useful. And uh, you can also be a monthly member. That's a £10 monthly membership. You get loads of cool features for that. So I'll give you video responses to your questions. I'll uh, give you a shout out on the channel. You get to, uh, what's the other thing? I'll cut some other cool stuff as well, man. Uh, I'll put the the links in the uh, the link in the description below about that. You can check it out. And uh, please follow Mike Barnes Drums on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And finally, if you're looking for drum stuff, books, all the rest of it, please check out my Amazon shop. Again, details in the description below. Uh, Amazon.co.uk slash shop slash Mike Barnes Drums. Thanks a million for watching. Uh, give us your feedback, and I'll see you soon. Thanks so much.